The interview you are about to witness is a real life interview. It is not scripted or edited to obscure the subject matter. Furthermore, even though each interview is filmed in a somewhat light-hearted and entertaining way, I would like to stress with all sense of seriousness that the incidents reported by those involved have been expressed candidly and honestly and are a truthful representation of the experience at hand. So, without any further delay, let's take a look at this week's interview and simply acknowledge that often the strange and the impossible will present itself to us at a time in our lives when we least expect it, taking us by surprise and proving that truth is stranger than fiction. Hello Dean. Um, we were just chatting in the garden, wasn't we? And, and you said you had a very strange, mysterious experience. It, was it you and your brother it was, when yeah. you were younger? How old was you? I was 12, my brother was 11. Okay. Um, we not long moved into um, our home um, back in Bilston. One night we felt an energy of, which we couldn't describe at the time. Yes. There was uh, a succession of three lights, two within a space of two seconds. Was this in your bedroom? In the bedroom. Yeah. And the third one came after about four seconds, four okay. or five seconds okay. approximately. And the next thing we felt was uh, a high pitch was in sound. Okay. Uh, the whole room lit up, which we couldn't understand. Like, like a white light. It was m- a massive white light. Okay. Um, and from that, it just went completely dark. Dark. Uh, and then we tried to refocus. We both looked at each other as if so you know, what happened. We both experienced mm-hmm. this at the same time. Yes. Yes. Um, and then I, I can't re- really remember a lot after that. Do you, do you feel? Do you feel like some time passed? A lot of time. Did it? It was. Um, it took a while for again for us, me and my brother, to literally adjust to what we kind of experienced. Yeah. We both looked, thought we were in the same dream. Okay. Which was a really strange thing to think about. Yes. But at the time, that was, seemed logical. We felt like mm. we were both in the same, in the dream. same sort of sort of sleep. Yes. And we talked about it to our neighbour the following day. Yes. And he experienced the same thing. At the same time? Which made it really, really, oh, at really at the same bizarre. time? Yeah. Okay, okay. At, at exactly the same time. So what we find is the most strange, we were all born in November around the same time. What's you? So... It's almost like a frequency thing going on there. Mine's the 13th of November. My brother's the 2nd of November. Yes. And our neighbour is the 11th. Ah, maybe there's a link there. An energetic link. Really incredible. Yes. Do you remember things that happened in that missing time? I've tried to Mm -hmm. put myself back into that Mm -hmm. um, position. Yes. I can't really remember it a lot. No. But it, it was it, all I can really That's remember is the, the bright light. Yes. And how intense that light was. Yes. And as it came, it was just really, really bizarre. Yes. At the time. And I've tried to reason with it mm. over, over time. But you can't. But exactly. It doesn't fit I'm into just, anything. I cannot. That you can think, oh, that was this or it was that. You yeah. just can't, you can't reason it really, That's can you? So uh, maybe in time, uh, at the right time, Maybe you will get an idea Hopefully, yeah. of what happened in that missing time. Do you know how much missing time there was? I would say roughly about an hour. Oh, quite a long time. Yeah. It's hard to actually put into words the, the full intense experience. Yes. Obviously, yes. as I've got older, yes. I've kind of thought, you know, am I adding any extra yes. into it? But you can There's actually, a lot of you can cut back to the root of it. Mm. Points there I can remember. I mean, yes. my, I can remember my bedroom exactly as it was. How my brother would sleep next yes. to me. Yes. And how intense this light was. It was almost like a the scene in the Matrix when yes. Neo has he, he's looking and all the the yes. armory comes yes. against it. It's that price. It's that kind it's of that price. Uh-huh. But everything sort of went. 
They couldn't say any of anything. The, anything in the bedroom. It's like it had gone. Yeah. So it was just this or you had light. gone in or, that moment. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Um, and if you speak to your brother about it now, does he talk it, about I mean, it? He totally acknowledges it. Yes. It, it's it's <laughs> it's just something that we we both looked at it again as we've got older and yes. thought, well, is there anything that we're sort of adding on, or is there anything we, we really haven't actually pinpointed? What yes. Happened? I think you're going to remember at some point. I, I, I mean, do. I would like to try some regression or mm-hmm. hypnotherapy to, yeah. to try and find out more about it. Or, you could do some neutral. Um, sort of hypnotherapy yeah. where they're not actually leading you they're just putting yes. you in that space of remembering yeah. I would be fascinated to uh, oh, to know if you learn it. anything about that oh, totally. great oh thanks <laughs> Dean that was fascinating thanks for sharing that with us brilliant that's, that's blowing me away brilliant stuff